so I do yoga as who's you yoga? know, uh, and I, you know, I, I, I'll also just do yoga stretching, but I was doing yoga and the yoga instructor, I'm pretty sure was really, really drunk, which put me in an awkward position. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. This is Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks so much for following us. It's true. If, well, your yeah, yoga, yeah. if your yoga instructor's drunk, it puts you in an awkward position. <laughs> and today, today, I can't go high. Right you now. have no high register today. anymore. <laughs> today. Uh, we have a video from Asian Boss. We've seen many of their videos. This is what Indians think of the United States. Interesting. And this was four years ago. Oh, when was this? Four years ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, oh, yeah. A president ago. Uh, this will be interesting. A impeached, twice impeached president ago. And uh, we were still having mass shootings. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that interesting? And if you look at the history of mass shootings in the United States of America, it's not a coincidence that the amount of mass shootings have gone up in the past four to five years. It's not a coincidence. The amount of rage that people think they're able to exhibit now in the amount, it's pretty amazing. In the amount of things we haven't done about it. But still. you know what? But you know what? I'm tired of all this talk about the guns, man. The, pe the real threat to American children isn't the guns, even though they're getting shot every single day, twice a day. You know what the real threat is, Corbin Miles? What? Drag queens. You probably, know it. Probably. We all know it. We all know it. Uh, if you ever have the opportunity to go to a drag show, go. It's amazing. Go. It's, it's a blast. Absolutely incredible. Wonderful people. Here yep. we go. I'd, I'd imagine it's a lot of hey, loud. They think we're loud. Hi, hey, Monique. everybody. It's Monique. Hi, Monique. America has been recognized as a leading global superpower for decades. Not anymore! But more nuanced global perspectives on America often go unnoticed. America! Given bow, that US President Donald Trump has spoken very highly of Indian Prime Minister Modi, we thought it'd be interesting to hear what everyday Indians think about Trump and about America oh, in general. great. So let's turn it over to our Asian boss reporter in New Delhi to hear what people have to say. Uh, what is your current impression of the United States? First word that pops out is definitely Trump <laughs> and a not so free country and really. <laughs> the first thing is Donald Trump. She ain't wrong. And second thing is America is like a, a superpower. America is hegemony in the world. I think the United States does a really good job at uh, giving their citizens uh, freedom. Uh, it's good, but it creates a very positive mm. culture. Actually, it's a country to visit and uh, as well as for future. Like people of India, we can go there and have a better life. And moreover, it's like a you know cultural, glo culturally globalized country. Everybody like wants Everybody to go wants to go and try there, yeah. in America. So yeah. In general, what's your impression of Americans? You know, वो पसंद करते हैं अपनी लाइफ में कुछ भी करना. They don't. Like yeah, that is true. Very true. That's very true. They can be. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Yes. It's sad but true. It's kind of indoctrination, is what that is actually. They get really racist uh, against Indians. Take uh, the Shah Rukh Khan uh, case into consideration. Like every time he goes to visit America, the Policemen always stop him just because yeah. he's a Muslim. Yeah. So I think it's probably more because he's brown than Muslim. Yeah, exactly. Like they are more open to you know talking to different kind of people. You know. Depends on where you go in America. Yep. Countries, but like the white minority, it's like it's that minority is a little orthodox yeah. in orthodox. their thing, thinking. They feel as if you know all the Indians or the other people they're taking away their jobs and everything. What does American accent sound like to you? Really, you do have to tell it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something about the American accent, okay? Uh, it's very different, but, uh, you know, the English accent is quite classier. British is... No argument there. Why do you think British accent is better? It's compared to uh, easily to understand. Interesting. I'm more of a fan of a British, British accent. accent yeah. Yeah. It sounds more classy. Yeah. Yeah. Not, don't argue with that. Their way of speaking the language. Do you get the impression that the U.S. is welcoming towards visitors and immigrants? Yes, quite frankly, they have been 
good to visitors. Uh, Unless you're from Mexico. Issue. Yeah. After that, there have been security issues with them, but that is okay. Is or when Trump was president, if you were Muslim. It yeah. It depends on where you are. A lot of my friends, they have gone to the U.S. And some of them, um, they don't face difficulties at all, while others, um, like they're facing racism on a day-to-day -day basis. A friend of mine, he... Uh, he's in, he was in uh, Wake Forest and um, he faced racism, racism on a day to day mm. basis. Like they'd, they'd make fun of him, they'd, they'd tell him he smells of curry and stuff. Mm. Well, my younger brother also has had certain instances in school where being an Indian, he's not exactly faced racism that would like scar him, but yeah, there have been instances of very mild racism, but it's racism nonetheless. Racism is racism. That's basically because the white minority has that kind of superiority, superiority complex, complex inside yeah. them. So yeah. Why is she calling it white minority? An, an inferior class, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. to them. So. But what was the latest news that you saw from America? So, can we find them? That's Still happening. Been Nothing's been done either. US killing of students in yes, school. just happened. Killing Nothing has been done. It's quite scary, but I think we have terrorist attacks in India and there is mass shooting in America and both are equal, I think. Being uh, of a Domestic the terrorism. most powerful nation in the world, I think that is not everyone expects from that country. Heartbreaking, actually. Exactly. It's disappointing from a country like that to hear such news. Most of the you can thank the NRA. The white, the white, yeah, white yeah, yeah. teenagers, not, basically. It's not the so other I think it's something about their bringing up yeah. over there, the way you know they are accustomed in their heads. Like you know they are just. It's called more guns people. than people. Can you it's called indoctrination as well. Happening in India. If by any chance our laws were a little less, you know, stringent than there would have been like mass killings every other day. Every other yeah. day. You also I don't have uh, the right to bear arms in your constitution. <laughs> yeah. The kind of people, the kind of mentality we have there, yeah. the kind of, you know, cultural and religious riots we have every second yeah. day. Yeah, yeah they're just different problems. The U.S. President Donald yeah. Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump as a politician, I don't know much. But his personal life is so much in the media that he has some prostitutes uske <laughs> against you. And then, then I don't like him at all. I don't. Yeah, he's like really racist. And I don't like his sexist comments either. Agree. Look at his you know, speeches and the way he talks to women specifically. Mm. He treats women like a commodity, like you know, an accessory to his power or Correct. something. He's the United States. Oh, <laughs> God. I think they're very similar. Oh, God. Uh, not very similar, but... Um, I can't wait for the comments on this one. <laughs> a lot of things in common. We didn't make this video, by the way. We're just reacting. ...of our Prime Minister Modi and the U.S.-India relationship. Why do you think Trump has spoken so highly of him? Ooh. And they have this perception of India is that we're not even, like, threatening. So maybe, Ow. like, Ow. he's got this good positive reaction towards Indians. It's because they have the same political ideology. What sort of relationship would you like to see between India and America? I would like to see a good relationship. <laughs> yeah, I, that'd be nice. Like this powerhouse, no one wants to mess with. You take an example of a bully, like, you want to be, even though it's a bad thing, but you want to be in his good side, so you're like you're not the target. Calling us a bully. If, if that, Trump has said it's about right, though, right? Us, they probably has the yeah. underlying yeah. yeah. benefit in yeah. that <laughs> world. But anyway, and like India is a growing economy. Yeah. Yeah. We offer a lot of opportunities, and you know, CEO of Google is an Indian. Like yeah. we are like literally, you know, yeah. taking those kind of companies forward. You, nobody can deny the fact that Indians are the people who are going everywhere. Yep. I mean, aren't Americans mostly visited Indians because we go over there and take all their exactly. jobs? No, they're not. We are not. <laughs> There are some that are, but it's a also, minority. Also, it's not about <laughs> Indians at all. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be down for the U.S. It's become a superpower and a huge and big round of applause goes to us. Yeah. It's idiots who they think Mexicans are stealing their jobs. It took our reporter in New Delhi five hours to get 11 people to interview with us. Oh, shit. So special thanks to our reporter and all our interviewees wow. for sharing their honest opinions. That's a long what time. What would you like to see happen with India-U.S. relations? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Asian Boss for more authentic insight into the latest news and cultural trends all over Asia. For the most part. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. They aren't wrong with, uh, with a all. lot of their assessments. No, not Obviously, at all. Obviously, a lot of them aren't uh, fully familiar of like why America has such gun violence and problems because it's a very complex issue that only we have that we a lot of people here seem to not realize that we're the only country that has mass shootings every day in schools and theaters and 
museums and streets. And We've had more mass shootings than days on the calendar thus far. And there's so many reasons behind that. And it's obviously, I'm not going to get into this, this video, but it's such a complex issue starting with the fact that we have guns in our constitution. Yes, but it's <sighs> always, here's what's interesting. It's always been that way. Yep. Since the founding of the country, we've always had the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. However, there have been more mass shootings in the past 10 years than there were for the totality of my childhood. Mm -hmm. From my birth until I was a, a, an adult, you would have one or two a year. Like we're averaging 600 a year now. There's a lot of So it isn't just that. because you have Second Amendment. No, I'm saying radical. that's where it starts. Exactly, it does. And the problem with that, in case you didn't know, I have had lengthy conversations, multiple conversations with died in the wool, right wing, GOP supporting, Second Amendment supporting, NRA member friend. They will never move. And whatever proposition is given to them, the, like, for example, we have to have a well-armed militia. Hence, that's one of the rationales for having weapons like an AK-47 or AR-15 or all those things. Well-regulated. Right? And I've pointed out, as most do, that at the time of the writing of the Second Amendment, we had just come from Britain and the weaponry of the citizenry equaled the weaponry of the military. They yeah. were synonymous. And you, therefore... You really can't logically believe that the weaponry of the citizenry is going to be any match for the might of the United States military. Because if you do, as a comedian said, you don't know how tanks work. <laughs> and I brought that up and it's always left with no, no teachability, no nothing. And I've asked, where do you draw the line between the weapons of the citizenry and the weaponry of the military now? If the reason for having those weapons is not just for self-defense and the right to bear arms, but the fact that you need to be able to create a militia in case the United States government became so despotic it came to fighting. Yeah. And the answer to that question is always just, it turns silly. I said, what, where, we can have bazookas? Yeah. We can have nuclear? Yeah. You cannot be serious right now and yeah. you will not give me an answer. And follow the money. Yeah. Um, but on, on the other aspects of the, of the, the video, uh, what they were saying about they're angry at people for taking their job, it's not, they're never, it's never Indians that they're mad at. Honestly, uh, it's, it's mostly, it's an idiotic argument, really, well, uh, that, that people are upset with, obviously. Uh, it, it, unless you are someone like Donald Trump and those who support him mm. who very publicly say, if basically all jobs should go to Americans. Yeah. Which is really funny because this is a country of immigrants. Yeah. But like they're they're the people that are upset with that stuff are mostly talking about immigrants, Mexican immigrants who cross the border legally or uh, illegally. And they're mostly doing like uh, the jobs that the, the jobs that no white one Americans would ever want do. to do. And they do them uh, well. And so it's it's <laughs> Um, obviously, because it's just ignorance. Obviously, I, I've, I've hardly ever heard anybody ever talk down. Obviously, you you hear some like they were talking subtle racism of they think they smell like curry. They think, you know, yeah, stuff there's like idiots that. Here that say that. But honestly, mo you don't hear a lot about Indians in America. It's just because it's an ig ignorance thing. You you just don't hear about it a lot. No Most people like they have a lot of people. There's Bollywood. Yeah, and they're not, I, they're I know not viewed in any way, shape, or form with the same kind of presupposition racism or yeah. opinion that they are with, say, Mexicans or black Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indrani, she said, am I going to be treated differently? I said, first of all, you're in Los Angeles, which is yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. most accepting cities with everywhere you look, you see different people. Yeah. She said, what if I went to Mississippi? Yeah. Well, you're not black. Mm. Very big difference. She would be treated differently because she's not white. Yeah. For sure. And they would not like our relationship because it's interracial. Yeah. But the level of hatred would be nothing compared to if she had been a black no, woman. No, 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 no. Yeah. And, and it's, it does depend on where you go in the United States. There's yeah. a big – the divide in the country is as stark as it was during the divide between the North and the South pre-Civil War. It's just not North and South now. It's red and blue. But granted, luckily, a lot of those people will die off soon or have died off because of COVID. Um and with the current, like the newer generations, my generation, the generation is younger. They're very accepting. Americans, I feel for the most part, for the majority of them, yes, not the, all of them, the majority, the majority of them, 
as I think somebody said, are very welcoming and opening yes. to different cultures. Yes. We, we, we love it. It's it's what I think makes America actually great is the yes. fact that there's so much diversity, so many different cultures. We're a yes. melting pot. I love that. And and if you look at – it's it's a little bit misleading what happens with um, elections uh, because – when it comes to a presidential election, you don't have to win the popular vote, no. which is a shame. You just need to win the Electoral College, and the GOP is consistently doing whatever they can to win the Electoral College because the GOP never wins the popular vote. No, haven't. They just they just don't. Ever. If you just did it straight, popular vote, they lose. That's also why there's Jerry, uh, Jerry, uh, gerrymandering. Mandering. Yep. And gerrymandering is the moving of district lines in order for you to gain an edge because you know you're not going to win outright. That also is something that is predominantly taking place <sighs> with uh, the GOP. And and it's yeah. – uh, so – but I agree. The I've, majority of what they said is very, yeah. very – It's true. not far off. Not far um, off. Not far off. And I feel like if you did this video of, of what U.S. – um, citizens think of Indians. It'd be a lot of positive. It'd be like, I love Indian food if they've tried it. Uh, it would. They, Gandhi. Yeah. It, but they wouldn't know a lot either. No, and they would say, well, India's an ally because India is an ally. Yeah. Um, and they would they would believe, you know, they would talk about, uh, they, they, I promise you, Indians know a hundred times more about America, about America and, and, and American interests than <laughs> most Americans know yeah, about India. hundred <laughs> percent. Just like probably when we started the channel, obviously. We talked about it all the, all the yeah. time, obviously. But yeah. Another good video. That was a good video. Uh, fantastic. Let us know what you thought about it. Any of your opinions. Obviously, we didn't make the video. Do not yell at us. Yeah. You can put it in the comments below. Um, but um, let us know what other videos we can react to down below. Just.